The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Yeah. London in the building. Dino in the building, my guy. Welcome Jeez. to the show. Thank you, my friend. Um, this is like your first interview in like a long time. In long like time, bro. Right? Yeah, man. I've been Because I was like trying to find some more recent ones, but I really couldn't find one. Mm -hmm. I've been chilling recently, my bro. Uh, yo, what? I like how all like... I mean, you could tell me this is kind of what you're thinking, because you know, you and I were top chopping it up about my... You know, shout out my guy, AJ. But mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of y'all kind of been like chilling and just kind of... Living y'all lives Life, right now after yeah. all the success that you guys have had yeah. so far. Obviously, a lot more success to come. Of course. But you've kind of just been chilling, enjoying shit. It's been chilling, bro. See, for me, I've been in the game since I was like 13, bro. I've been releasing right. music for like, what, seven years now, almost eight. Yeah. So for me, I got to a point, and obviously, I've been doing music and I've been like, you know, like, I've just been doing my thing since I was young, innit? So for me, I just feel like I was at a place where I was like, even to make more music, I just got to be living more. And mm. I wasn't living enough, I was just living in the studio. Yeah. And obviously that's lit. I still do, but like I gotta just live life for myself and experience it. Obviously, just grow as a person as well, isn't it? So right, actually go like experience like life and what it has to yeah. offer. Yeah, like travel, go see the world, go meet new people, go meet some girls. You know what I'm saying? Just live life, bro. You know what I mean? Respectfully, where you been traveling to? Like, what's been inspiring you? Um, obviously, I'm here in New York for the first time now. Right. Oh yeah, this is your first my fucking first time, time in New, New York. York. It's crazy. I'm just kind of shocked by that. I know. I just, you know what it is, before, yeah, like, I just, I don't know, I'd always, I'm very, like, I, as a person, yeah, before I'd be very, like, comfortable, like, where I am, I'm like, I'm just chilling at home, I'm cool. But I'd, obviously, like I said to you, I just got to a point where I was just like, nah, I'm trying to be outside, I'm trying to go see everything. So it's my first time in New York now, and I just felt like there wasn't much that was, um, that was going to bring me to New York before, you know what I mean? Mm. Or maybe that's just what I thought, but I don't know. But right now I'm here, I'm enjoying it. I was in Milan. Two days ago, three days ago, I was there for oh, the week. Excuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> was in, uh, yeah, I was in Milan, I was in Italy for a bit, working, chilling, okay. performing. I was in Paris right before that. I'm go I should be going back to Paris after I leave here. Then I'm going to be back home for like Christmas. Mm. But yeah, man, I've just been everywhere, bro. I was traveling all How do you like New York for the first time, man? I can't, I'm liking it so far, bro. It's nice. It's like London, but an American version. Yes, yeah, home. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's London, like is, London. London is just... It's this. The UK version yeah, yeah, of yeah, New York. Yeah, it's this, yeah. it's this, it's this. But I like it, I fuck with it. It's yeah, nah, because I think it's crazy because like, I feel like, I mean, a lot of uh, London artists stop by here yeah. as they, you know, as they blow up. Or at, well, mm -hmm. at, at all stages. I've had everybody from all stages, whether it be yeah. Giggs or Tracy yeah. or even, you know, um, you know, Leo, who is 16 years old. Yeah. But it's interesting because like, I would have thought that they would have at least had you like when things were really ramping up when you were like young and you Younger. first came out, I, I would have thought they would have had you come out here just to do some press or Just to do some stuff, yeah. Do you know what it is? I never, especially with the, like, the teams that I was with before and stuff as well when I was younger, there wasn't a lot, like I've always, me and like my, my one manager, we've always just been kind of like just doing our own thing. Of course. Even though we'd obviously we'd always have like other people and other like stuff behind, but like we'd always just do our own thing. So we never ever right. like really waited on anyone to like take us anywhere and do anything. So yeah, I wasn't really like with the whole like label movement, like obviously I was even though when I was younger and stuff, obviously I'm not now, but when I was with a label and stuff, like there wasn't much like of people like trying to do stuff like that anyway. And when you're younger, you're just kind of just going with the flow, innit? Yeah. You know what I think it also is now? I think, I think the London, London. But, but the what, but yeah, I feel like we're just branching out now as it's well. It's branched out a bit now. Everyone's kind of colliding right now, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I fuck with that, innit? So I just feel like it's the right time to do it. Man. Yeah, I was gonna say like six years ago versus, I mean, even though someone like me, <clears throat> who has been into like the London music scene and everything that y'all have had going on. Like, oh, you're tapped in proper. Yeah, I've appreciated it, yeah. right? I've appreciated it throughout the years, but yeah. I think as a whole, like America wasn't really into it back yeah. then. Yeah. But then now it's like, it's very different. You know, a lot of people have gone on tour over here, yeah. whether it be C, Tracy, whatever, yeah. so on and so forth. Um, and there's been a lot more crossovers yeah. with the music. Obviously you have the record with J.I. Yeah. You got like, they got the record with Moneybag and Be Love. Yeah. Like a lot of, there's been a lot of crossovers love, now yeah, where yeah. I feel like now it's like we're more accepting of y'all's music over yeah, here yeah, and yeah, vice yeah. versa. Yeah. To be honest with you, I feel like in the UK we've always listened to American music and stuff. Mm, but like, true. I feel like we, as as a UK, like we have our own kind of like pride and stuff as well in it. So we're not trying to be like glazing or nothing to no one as well. We're kind of <laughs> like just on our own thing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we're not gonna fuck with no one that don't fuck with us, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, like we said, everyone feels like it's kind of like open and acceptance, so everyone's just kind of colliding. I think it's cold. I think yeah. it's sick. 
I think it's crazy how, because you said it's your first time in New York, that you even had the record with J.I. Yeah. And then you never had, did you meet J.I.? Like, did y'all? No, I've never actually met J.I. I've never actually met J.I. Yeah, I've never actually met him. We're mad cool, though, but never actually linked up. That's crazy, because I think I even saw him in, in, I don't know, if maybe he was in London or this year. I don't remember, but I, I think, think he I saw... was in London, but I, I don't think I was in the city at the time. Okay, yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's so crazy that, how y'all have this record and y'all haven't even, like, connected or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, it's mad, isn't it? It's the beauty of music, though, isn't it? Travels. And definitely the beauty of it. But I think it's cool how, like, now it's like you guys are all getting to go live your lives and then the return to music and yeah. the, you know, when, when your focus shifts, because, like, music is always there for you, but, like, when the shift is, like, the focus shift is, like, back to, into that mode, yep. it's, like, I think it's going to be very well received, of course, at home, mm -hmm. but then now you guys have the ability more to, like, <clears throat> spread your wings and do more shit, like, yeah. out here, too, and, and be accepted and, you know, get to do shows and all that shit out here 100%, as well. yeah. I'm excited for it, man. Really. When do you think you're going to get back in that mode? New Year? Literally. Literally, okay. Literally. Literally back in the new year. <laughs> Literally. So 2023 has just kind of been like, Dino's like, I'm going to chill, I'm going to go travel. I'm going to chill, I'm going to travel, I'm going right. to grow up, I'm going to turn 21. Now it's go time. Right. Because last project was Boy Meets World, right? Mm -hmm. In 2021, funny mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, in like, you know, like when you turn 21, people are like, all right, now you like... A man now, a man, growing yeah. up and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got so much to say now, bro. I feel like I got so much to say, even to talk about from Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World, most of it was made when I was seventeen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So from seventeen, eighteen to twenty-one, so much new shit, new stories. Because it's like, even if I'm looking, like obviously you dropped like "Hold Me Down" yeah. earlier this year, right? Yeah. But it's like it's been real. You've been real quiet. Like mm -hmm. last year, you only had "Better Now," mm -hmm. and then. It's like, have, have people been, have your fans like really been on you like that? To yes. Like, bro, like what's, what bro, the fuck everywhere. is going on? Yeah, yeah. I feel bad for the fans because I feel like I, I kind of like stole out on everyone. I kind of make everyone wait. At first, um, I was, I, even, at first it was like, I, I was having like issues with like releasing and stuff because, um, you know, label and stuff like that. Mm. And then um, from there I was kind of like, all right, cool. So I'm my own shit. Then I just did all of that. And that's just what I've been focusing on anyway. And then yeah, man, with the Better Now track, we did that uh, with the, the Ed Sheeran sample. And we, uh, me and Ed wrote on that. And then the Hold Me Down, me and Ina just did that when I was in LA in 2021. Mm. I wasn't even gonna drop Hold Me Down. I just threw that up on TikTok one day, and everyone was like, "Yo, drop this, drop this, drop this." I remember the team that I was with before was like, "Nah, don't drop it." And I was just like, oh. "I wasn't gonna drop it anyway." I'm very like easy in it. Then I, every every time I post this song, where's that track? Where's that track? Where's that track? So I was like, you know, I gotta give it to them. Everywhere I go now, bro. Whenever people see me, like, Dino, you know, we're waiting, bro. We're waiting. <laughs> so it's about time I just. Give it to them. What was the experience like working and writing with Ed like? Lit man, it's Ed Sheeran, bro. Like I, know, right? I remember, yeah, I remember like we had like a was, when was it? It was like twenty twenty one times we even had a session, and it was like um, but it was over Facetime because I think it was like he was in like Australia or something. It was like mm -hmm. COVID times or something like that. And then yeah, man, like for me, like Ed, especially being like a British guy or whatever, Ed's always gonna be like Ed. You know what I mean? T to anyone, I feel like Ed is Ed. You know what I mean? So like to work with Ed is crazy, and, I, and I've genuinely been listening to Ed since young, like mad. Like, I, I fuck with Ed Sheeran, you know what I'm saying? So to work with him, surreal. He's just a mad cool guy. Like, mad humble. Even how big he is is crazy. Like, yeah. just a cool guy, man. I like, but I like what Ed is like, I like seeing him be able to, exactly how you said how big is he is. Yeah. Like, he always is like, I'm still not going to not work with people who I like. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? He shows no a lot what? of love. He shows a lot of love, man. And not just to me, to so many other people. So I just... I just respect that. Right, because I'd be seeing Ed like pop up in like different places. I'd He's be just like, everywhere, isn't it? And I'd be like, I don't know what you're doing here <laughs> or what you're doing with this artist. Yeah. I forgot who I saw. Was he with Westside Gun? Was it Westside or? He was with somebody from Griselda, I think, or somebody else. I don't remember. But I saw Ed with somebody from, huh? It was like with Westside, right? I'm like, I don't know what you're doing with him, mm. but like. Cool. Ed's I'm just outside. I'm, I'm just. I'm. I'm here. Ed is out. He's Ed is, outside. Ed is out more yeah. outside than all of us. He's outside. Right? He's outside. So okay. So in the new year, right? Uh, more singles. Mm -hmm. New music. Finally, mm -hmm. we gonna we gonna finally get some some mm -hmm. new shit. Working on a new project as well. Okay. It's almost finished. Are you still with? The, you're, you're independent now. Or? Independent right now. Fully independent. Congratulations, Believe. man. Thank Congratulations. you. Bro. How do you feel? Relieved. Relieved. Good. Boy. I feel good. I feel like it's all on my terms now. Do what I want. Move when I want. Do what I want, how I want. Mm. So excited, man! It's Are you little? Me. I wouldn't say worried or stressed, nah, but like, no, you got, but like, you're you're prepared for like this role. Ready, man. Here. Ready, bro. There's no pressure, bro. I just do me, stay in my own lane. Like even before, I used to look at things like I was in some sort of like, I don't even know what you call it, some sort of like matrix, some music mm, matrix. Okay. And I feel like I just lost that kind of like feeling of like, oh, this person's worship. Like, nah, man. Just do what I gotta do. I'm in my own lane. Do my own thing. 
The ones who like it, like it. The ones who don't, don't. I'm good either way. Kind of made you like lose like the love for it a little bit too. Kind of. Because like, yeah, kind of. Like when you feel like you can't do what you want to do when you want to do it, and especially with something that's like music and your art yeah. and stuff, it's, it starts like, yeah, man, it gets demotivating, but I ain't never stopped on that. I'm never stopping. So. Word, man. Well, look, I'm excited for you, man. Congratulations on being independent. Uh, new music in 2024. So mm -hmm. if you're watching this, just know it's on the way, man. He's not going to hold out much longer. No. Uh, on the Radar Freestyle, out now. Come on. You know how everybody, everybody from London comes here and kill it. Come so on. you know what's going on. Uh, before we get up out of here, we have you rap. Uh, anything else you want the people know where they can follow you at, all that good stuff. Now's the time to do it. This camera on the right right here. At Dino Driz everywhere. You know who it is. Get ready. Let's go. Yes, 2024, new music on the way. Freestyle out now. Go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But try to renew that till next time. Dino on the radar. We out. Bow, my guy. Love. Bro. Thank you.